Assalamu alaikum guys, this is Fazura Binti Fata. She is a university student and also a new intern at a well-known publishing company. At first, she really enjoys her part-time internship, but as the time passes, she has a hard time to manage between her study and her side work. I already told you to send this kemarin, not yesterday. I I told you so many times. Panas lagi lah hari ni. Panas lagi. I'm dying. I'm dying. And I am the secretary for HRC. So, uh, yes, I think that I have faced uh, communication in my organization before because I think that in every organization there is there is going to be some miscommunications because uh, when we first get into an organization, we might not be as comfortable with each other as we are bound to be after we work together. So our project should be done by the 5th of May So I'm hoping you guys to send your reports as soon as possible Sure, yes. Sure, yes. sure miss Okay, I think that's all for today Yeah Okay, you may all be dismissed Thank you, miss Thank you, thank you My name is Norte Watrisha Binti Kamazaman and I am a Bellow student. Okay, have you ever faced any miscommunication problems in your organization? Yes, I have faced it. Uh, it is miscommunication between brothers and sisters, which then leads to arguments between them. Instructions from the sisters, so after they does not understand about it, so they ignore the instruction, and that's when troubles happen uh, in our programs. The first way is by making an exclusive bonding time with the organizational members such as weekly dinner or some kind of gatherings that can make all the pieces of the ice between the members broken. Second, every organizational members must give all of the instruction one by one in order to avoid any misunderstanding especially from different gender. 
Third, as we live in a diverse country, we need to learn to understand different dialects that present in Malaysia and we also must try adapting with other people from other states of Malaysia as well as how they use the language such as tone and words. Besides, based from the Islamic perspective, the language of Al-Quran itself was revealed and aligned using only one language which is Arabic Quraysh in order to make all the worshippers understand every Quran verses precisely without any misinterpretation. Therefore, our issue which is getting lost in translation can be related to Surah Al-Hujurat chapter 49 verse 13 which means, O mankind, indeed we have created you from male and female and made you peoples and tribes that you may know one another. Indeed, the most noble of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you. Indeed, Allah is knowing and acquainted. As a consequence, we can live a better life in the future without having to face any more problems regarding getting lost in translation in organization.